<laughs> Hello world. How are you all doing today? Today I want to make a thanks for everything type day and uh, I'll start with Byron Rush and Chaz Rosowski and the crew over at Behave Live, the Hour of the Magar radio blog for inviting me to talk last night and I called in we had a wonderful chat. I want to thank myself for my fantastic vivid imagination that I had even as a little kid when I was uh, reading all the landmark novels and reading Huckleberry Finn and all these things and I've played Napoleon and Admiral Hornblower and God knows what. I delved into those books. I lived them. I didn't just read them. And thanks to my mom who was a speech and drama major even even though she told me that real people didn't uh, didn't act when they grew up. I, <laughs> it took me 20 years to to fight that, but she instilled in me the love of music and the love of theater and movies and TV. Uh, I made it to all the Philadelphia, all the Broadway, all the Broadway plays that hit Philadelphia. They, it was always the first stop on the on the run when they they'd start out in Broadway and then they went on a run of the big cities to shape themselves up and then went back to Broadway and I got to see wonderful stuff and. Mm, all the the wonderful Siskel and Ebert, how how many years I they instilled my love of theater and movies by by their movie critic critiques that were just fantastic. They're full of life and full of energy. They just loved what they did. Both of them are gone now. Roger just died a few days ago and was was writing critiques for the, for a newspaper right to the very end. What a guy. And Gene Shallot for the Today Show, same thing. Now I want to thank Robert Smore who gave me the last three years of his life as a music teacher. Uh, fantastic guy. He came from the Metropolitan Opera and then Jennifer Michael who was my teacher for ten years. Both of them instilled in me the fact that I actually did have a fantastic voice and that I could do it. And to the San Diego Comic Opera for giving me the first chance. I, I was in five of their productions as a as a first tenor, and I also sang Evita at the Starlight Amphitheater in Balboa Park, uh, also first tenor. And they were my starts. Doug Jacobs, uh, one of the founders of the uh, San Diego Rep, he was one of my first teachers, and the one that one of the ones during the era in San Diego that really helped me get into the depth of character, to have to dig it out out of my personality and my person telling the story as that person. And uh, and Sebastian Brook, my old friend that was my monologue coach until I hit Beverly Hills Playhouse. And Milton Casellas who had me play against type. He had me play things like Dr. Mengele and Boys from Brazil and uh, Captain Rochman from the Odessa file and all sorts of great things and found out I was pretty darn good as playing the bad guy as well as uh, uh, other lighter things and uh, it was a big help I and mean, when you look at the reality of, the, of uh, cinema and TV and theater the the best antagonists are usually pretty open-minded people like Carol O'Connor, uh, Rod Steiger, Sherman Hensley all these wonderful people, Chris, Christopher Walken, <laughs> they're the greatest. And you know, life is wonderful. It really is. I want to thank everybody that helped me in my travels and my uh, passage as an actor. I feel like a, a success at this point. I. I expect a long, long life where I'm going to get in more castings and be able to perform the things that I love. You all take care. Have a good day. And remember, today is the first day of the rest of your life. <laughs>